Hey, I'm John from Ride Upstate, and this is week seven of my road to a 90% acceptance rate. More trips this week than last week, about five times as many, which isn't a lot for those of you who are full-time drivers, I know. Um, but we're going to get into these trips, and I'll share a little more insights into them. Okay, so the first trip here was one of those early morning surge trips that I got. It was 4 minutes and 26 seconds for 1.1 mile. That's, you know, that's on app time, of course, on trip time. The fare was 1578 total. Uh, the actual fare itself was 578 So even if there hadn't been surge, it would have been a good $5 a mile. I got a $0.75 cent consecutive trip bonus, and the surge was $9.25. The customer paid $11.99. So Uber actually lost money on this trip. Uh, second trip here is now one that took place in the morning again. Um, $8.61 for a two-mile trip that lasted 5 minutes and 37 seconds. Again, this is all on app time. The total fare was eighteen sixty one. Uh, the actual fare itself was five seventy two, an eighty nine cent consecutive trip bonus, and a surge of twelve dollars. So here we go. Customer paid nine ninety two, and this is another trip where Uber lost money. Two trips in a row that morning. So this is a, another trip. Um, I'm tr trying to remember the circumstances of, of all these trips. Right. I was headed back home. Uh, so that's why I have all these trips early in the morning that I normally don't do. <laughs> uh, the total for the trip was 1363. It was 2.8 miles for six minutes and 30 seconds. And the fare was 1020. The consecutive trip bonus was 68 cents with a surge of two dollars and 75 cents. The customer paid nearly $31 on this trip, and yeah, so I got less than 15, less than 50% on that trip, but hey, considering the last two, it kind of pans out, doesn't it? Okay, here's uh, what the not the following day, but on Wednesday, and it is an afternoon trip, so that was $12.56 total for 6.8 miles for about 18 minutes. The fare was 806. There was a 450 surge. And uh, I got a good chunk of this one. Uber, the customer paid 17.93. So I got a pretty big portion of this fare. Uh, same afternoon, uh, smaller fare here, $7.83 for a 4.8 mile trip for 12 minutes. The fare was 7.83 with a consecutive trip bonus of 39 cents. No um, no surge on this one. And it looks like the customer paid $16. Oh, there's a little note here. Uber's total service fee for your rides trips from September 18 to October 16 was 9.5% of the total customer price, excluding tips. Interesting. Okay, next trip, same afternoon. 764, 5.5 miles for about 13 minutes. And we're looking at a 724 fare with a 36 cent consecutive trip bonus. Another trip that afternoon, 638, 4.5 miles for about eight minutes. The fare was 606 and I got a 32 cent consecutive trip bonus. Here's the next day in the morning, $6.62 for three miles and nine and a half minutes. The fare was six twenty eight, and I got a thirty eight cent consecutive trip bonus. Okay, Thursday morning again, fourteen dollars and thirty three cents for five point six miles and a fifteen and a half minute drive. The fare was eleven ninety. The consecutive trip bonus was sixty eight cents with a surge of a dollar seventy five. Uber's customer paid eighteen ninety one, so I got a good chunk of that. Here's a trip I did on Saturday, and it's the only trip that I got a tip on that week. 537, 1.4 miles, four and a half minutes. Um, yeah, so 415 for the fare, 22 cents for a consecutive trip bonus, and one dollar tip. I thank you for the tip, customer. And that was the last trip that I did that week. 
So the overall numbers for week seven look like this. I did 10 trips for a total of $108.75, which comes out to about $10.87 per trip. I drove a total of about 73 miles, so it comes out to about $1.50 per mile. Probably there's some, again, there's some overlap. That's just what's recorded on Gridwise. Um, total of five hours on the app, which comes out to 2160. But when I take out like all the extra drive time and things like that, because usually what I do is I start the app and then I don't turn on Gridwise until I get my first ride. So I'm not counting that if I'm driving for 10 or 15 minutes and not getting a ride just so I could, because it's commute time. So it doesn't really count as work time, right? Uh, $30 an hour if you look at the actual time. And of course, one tip. So even after doing this, I think I had to reject a lot of rides that week. Um, they were just, I was just getting garbage. I was just getting so much garbage. And it'll be reflected in the stats when I show you them for next week. Um, so yeah. We're getting there, we're getting close, but we're still kind of, we still haven't hit that 70% mark. Uh, what's significant about the 70% mark that gets you qualified for, for gold? Um, that, that's not necessarily a goal, but I just thought, you know, that, that would be a good goal, the first goal, and then going on to 90%. So um, week eight is next, and... If I recall, week eight was pretty sparse. So I will talk to you next time. My name is John from Ride at the State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.